Oh, wait, what? Oh, I'm trapped! No! Welcome back to another episode of our 2020 Fan Stravaganza. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we're going to be playing Chips Challenge. Uh, but to get to the game, I wanted to give you guys a full dose of nostalgia here and have you with me when I started Windows 3.1. <laughs> there we go. Ta-da! Uh, I love that Windows startup sound. Windows 3.1 is kind of interesting. It really was not an operating system the way like later Windows were, like Windows 95 and stuff. Um, it was just a program that you ran in DOS. So it's like if we exit Windows, we go right to DOS. So really DOS is running things. This is just a program. And I guess it's a program to help you run other programs uh, like games like Chips Challenge, which we are... Uh, going to be playing here. So the game just starts up immediately in level one. Uh, but before we do start playing, uh, can I make this window any bigger? I want to kind of maximize it for you guys. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, this is Chip's Challenge. So we're going to be playing it kind of in Windows here. Hold on. Let me uh, let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. But uh, Chip's Challenge, I think, is, is famous as a Windows 3.1 game. It was included in the Windows 3.1 Microsoft Entertainment Pack 4 in 1992 and a Best of Pack in 95, and that's where it really uh, was popularized. But interestingly enough, you guys may not know this, but Chip's Challenge uh, started as a launch title for the Atari Lynx. So if you remember the Atari Lynx, it was Atari's attempt to get in on the Game Gear and Game Boy uh, space in games. But anyway, Chips Challenge is a top-down puzzle-based video game. Um, and the premise is that you are a high school nerd named Chip. Here he is. You can see he's standing here. Uh, your name is Chip McCallahan, and you've met Melinda, the mental marvel in the school science lab. And you must navigate through Melinda's clubhouse in quotation marks which are a series of increasingly difficult puzzles in order to prove yourself and gain membership into the very exclusive bitbusters club so without further ado let's go ahead and start gaming here today this is lesson number one bdhp i guess it's all that i was gonna say i guess it's the password but literally the word password was there so you do have a time limit so you can't dawdle too much the point is to collect these microchips and you collect keys like this red key and then open doors like this red door so now we have the yellow key, so we can go over here and open a yellow door. I mean, obviously this first level, they're just like throwing stuff at you left and right. So it's like all the keys are just in this big main area. Just get everything that you need, uh, get the microchips and get out. So, I mean, if you were going to speed run this game, you wouldn't be talking uh, and demonstrating how it works at the beginning. You would just, you know, get going. And I probably have a terrible time, but that's okay. Boom! Yowza! First try. Time bonus, 680 points. Level bonus, 500. Level score, whatever. Okay, who cares about the score? I don't know why I'm like uh, meticulously going through all the score. All right, here's a new mechanic. Okay, so let's see what this help bubble says. Hint, push blocks into water to make dirt. Watch out for monsters. All right. All right, we've made some dirt. Uh, we'll make some more dirt. Oh, wait, what did we do? Wait, oh, whoops, you can't swim without flippers. Oh, wait, we failed. Oh, we failed on level... <laughs> we failed on level two of Chip's Challenge. All right. Oh, wait, what happened? The Wait, the dirt... That, that time the dirt turned into... Okay, wait, what's happening here? Oh, if you stand on the dirt, I get it. Okay, look at all these bugs, too, by the way. They're software bugs, get it? It's kind of a pun, guys um okay so truthfully i've never played this game before in my life so you guys are witnessing a first and chips challenge was recommended oh god the monsters are gonna get me <laughs> chips challenge was recommended as part of our fan stravaganza god damn it <laughs> as part of our fan stravaganza but um it was not actually i mean it got votes it certainly got votes uh but it was not actually one of the games that like made it to the top um but I do have to say I was I, I've been wanting to play Chips Challenge for a while. I think Chips Challenge is iconic enough that it it should be in the Thousand One Games You Just Play Before You Die book. I'm shocked that it's not because I mean like I never played Chips Challenge, but I knew Chips Challenge. You know what I mean? Um, we've established a time record by the way on this level, and so given the sheer iconicness of this game, it seems to me that this game definitely should oh cool we can swim oh and now we can skate too very cool 
Now I guess we can walk on conveyor belts. Oh, oh this is going to move me along automatically. Whoa, neat. But given the sheer iconicness of Chip's challenge, it kind of feels like this definitely is something that, uh, you know, people should play. Can I do this? No, I can't. Oh, I think I, I think the boots let me walk through the fire. Yes. Okay. And now I can go on this thing. Oh, very cool. Neat. So different boots give you different abilities. Suction boots, uh, forest floor, fire boots for fire, flippers for water, and ice. Very cool. Now we can just like beeline right. Oh, that's a wall. <laughs> I guess we can't, we, we still can't move through walls. We're not ethereal yet. We need the cloak of ethereality for that. Yeah, this game, this game wasn't in the Thousand One book. So when I saw that it was recommended for um, for the Instravaganza, uh, I decided, you know what, I'm going to make the executive decision to play it, uh, even though, uh, you know, it, it wasn't number number one in the category. I mean, I did play the game that was voted number one in the category. I, I forget what the categories even are nowadays. But uh, yeah, this was basically an addition to the Instravaganza. Um, so the blue button controls the tanks, the green button toggles the wall. Sometimes things are hidden under blocks. Ooh, that's cool. So what does this do? Oh, that moves the tanks up and down. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. I like how the game is like gradually showing us more and more mechanics. Very neat. But yeah, I would say Chips Challenge, Minesweeper, and Solitaire are like the most iconic uh windows 3.1 games that i can think of like if i'm missing one like like help me out here am i missing any I'm trying to think like what what else is more iconic like chips challenge solitaire and minesweeper actually that that brings up a good point um did you guys actually play this on windows 3.1 i wonder if some of you you folks played this on um whoops uh oh i stepped in fire wait what they had a fire hidden there Kind of rude. I wonder if uh, some of you guys played this on uh, Atari Lynx, <laughs> which would be kind of interesting if you did. Um, okay, let's just get these. I think I had all the microchips and I just kind of screwed it up, actually. Uh, this game was also apparently ported to like Commodore 64, Mac. I think it was on DOS. Like it was ported to a bunch of stuff. So, I mean, maybe you played it on Atari, maybe you played on Windows 3.1, like I think everyone else who I knew in the whole free world did. Um, have you, maybe you played the sequel. You know, there was a, a sequel that came out not too long ago. Uh, the developer, the original developer of this game made a sequel after a number of years. Actually, there's kind of like a weird twisted tale of the sequel to Chip's Challenge. So, I... I uh, Ch Ch uh, Chips Challenge, I know. I never played it before, but I knew this original game. I had seen it. I knew people did play it. I knew it was like a big deal. Uh, the name was out there. Um, the red buttons control the clone machines. Clone machines? What the hell is that? And the brown button opens traps. Okay. Boom. Look out for creatures. Okay. So we've got to... Oh, we have to start using our brain. I didn't know this was a thinking man's game. Okay, what did that actually do? Okay, lock that off. I pressed the red button. Oh, it turned off this thing. Oh, now I can get the key. Oh, whoops, <laughs> and I went in the water. Uh, all right. Anyway, kind of a weird, uh, weird story for the sequel to this game. So this, you know, Chip's Challenge was popular enough that uh, the creator, the original creator, wanted to make a sequel. However, interestingly enough, the rights to the original Chip Challenge were owned by a Christian gaming publisher. So uh, there was a multimedia group, Bridgestone Multimedia, a Christian publishing company that bought up Epic's assets. So Epic's was the company that made the original uh, Chip's Challenge. Um, what does that do? Oh, okay. A rocket. Cool. Oh, neat. Hey, we figured out an actual level. Wait, what does this say? Blue walls may be fake. Some invisible walls never appear. There can be extra chips. Oh, oh, cool. Very neat. So there might be like doors and stuff. Oh, cool. We need to explore. Oh my God. There's walls here. We got locked off. Okay. So sometimes there's just like random walls will appear. Like we walk out. Of, this is this is like the out of bounds. Um, yeah. So Epic's made the original Chip Challenge. 
some Christian publishing group bought up all of Epic's assets because I think they wanted the rights to, what did they want the rights? Uh, the Bible software that Epic's had produced. And then they happened to buy up uh, all the other assets. And so it ended up that Chip's Challenge was owned by a Christian group for some reason. Um, and they did sell the publishing rights back to the original creator so he can make a sequel, but they demanded some large fee to do it, which is actually unusual. It's not the industry standard of how you know game publishers usually operate. So kind of a weird twisted tale of why Chips Challenge 2 took a long time to come out, but I believe it's out on Steam these days. Anyway, now we have a detective dude who's blocking us off. Oh, and we can just walk on his face. Okay, let's see what the question mark says. Teleports can be directional. The thief takes your tools. New walls can appear under you. Oh. Oh, wait. I just teleported. Interesting. Oh, hello. And now, interesting. Oh, I see what's happening. So if I go right... Wait, what? Well, that's weird. That's funky. All right, well, I have the fire boots. So let's just go over here. And I have the flipper. Okay, we got that. Oh, the thief took my stuff. Wait, now we're screwed, aren't we? We need one more chip. Where is this last chip in the challenge? Uh, oh, I need the, the flippers to get it. Okay. So, here's my strategy. We're going to come up here, get the flippers. And we're going to come down here and get the shoes. And, okay, we don't want to do that yet. Oh, shoot, the thief got me. Okay, so order of business number one. Oh, so this is kind of interesting. So you don't want to get too many tools. So we, okay, we just want to use the flippers once. We only need to use them once. And then after that, the thief can have them. Okay, now we need the fire boots. And now we go through the fire get this chip and now the thief can have our boots and now we don't need any tools we got this boom cool the puzzles are not that hard i mean i can imagine things could get much more complicated what is that thing uh monsters are stopped by dirt and gravel look at this thing look at him oh okay as soon as we make a path he's gonna come for us that is like a, a funky looking monster he's like a big lip frog Look at that. Look at those teeth. My God. Okay. So it seems like the best order of business is to like beeline up here. Get the chip. Beeline out of here. Oh God. Okay. We've made a path for him. Oh, but he can't get us. Boom. Okay. That was a dead. That was, that was like an action puzzle there. It was a deadly game of cat and also cat. Let's grab this key. Okay, so there's obstacles to avoid. Obstacles, okay, that just takes us back. Hmm. We just, okay, hold on. Go like this. Yeah! <laughs> Interesting, cool. I'm solving puzzles, guys. This game's making me feel smart. Making me feel smart and good about myself. Um, oh, crap. Okay, well, that made me feel bad about myself. Um, whoever this Melinda the Marvel is, she has set up some, like, Indiana Jones-style, uh, traps here. Like, this is some elaborate stuff. All for, like, a access to a computer club? Like, how exclusive is this club? That, uh, kids are gonna go through all this. Like, Chip's gotta be, like, the only one who's ever actually bothered to go through all this effort to just join this, this computer club. I don't know. I, Chip has got to, like, have the hots for Melinda. Like, that, that's that got to be it. If you look at the game's box... Actually, can we pause for a sec? And if you look at the box there, like... It clearly looks like maybe something's going on. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but, like... Uh, I think Chip's... Chip's got a little uh, schoolboy crush. Oh, my God. Oh, interesting. Oh, we can skate. Whoa, neat. Okay. Hold on, and we go like this, this, this. Do I get to that center one? This, this, this. Oh, we did it! Okay, I don't know how I did that, but uh, now we go like this, this, this. Oh man, I'm scared here. No, oh, right into the fire. <laughs> Damn, I couldn't see. I wish I could have scrolled the screen just to check. 
Because I knew that was a risk. The thing that happened to me, I knew might happen to me. Okay, so this level, this is the first level where things are getting a little more elaborate. But I think we got this. I, I like games like this. Like, okay, uh, you know, if you didn't have a time limit, that would be a little nicer. But they're giving, they're pretty generous with the time limits here. I like games like this where, like, it, it's not too hard to, like, figure out what you need to do. Sometimes there's a little difficulty executing, but I wouldn't even say this game has tons of difficulty in the execution either. So, um, okay, like this. Okay, so just so I know, on the left, there's only that center piece. Uh, on the far left near the fire, there's only that center piece. That's how you exit. But we'll go like this, this, this. This, 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 this. Okay, got it. Maybe we just backtrack now. Maybe that's the safest course of action. I mean, it seems... It would seem like you want to go to the right. But I don't... Oh, maybe this is actually right. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. I figured it out! I'm a genius. Okay, we have... We have any key? We don't have any keys. Okay. Wait, I thought... Wait, didn't... Aren't we supposed to get a key? Okay, let's just go this way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Oh, I gotta get up there! Okay, we did it. Woo! That was... That was pretty risky, actually. Um... Okay, here we go. Gives us the yellow key. Like, absolutely no use for the yellow key, though. Oh, wait, yeah, to get the green key. Never mind, I'm blind. Okay. Take our time. Yeah, I feel a bit like Indiana Jones. Although, also, are we in a computer? I don't fully understand the background story of Chips Challenge. Am I in the computer? Uh, because there's, like, giant microchips all over the place. Oh, God, that was risky. The fireball almost got me. We oh god and there's bugs. Wait, are you kidding? Okay, hold on. They'll move. Get the chip. Oh wait, what? Oh, I thought I was being careful. All right, well we do this one once again. This this level, by the way, is like actually quite long. Like uh, I feel like Chip's Challenge went from like easy introductory levels that were just showing you mechanics to like, all right, here's a real level now. Good luck, princess. Because, like, this is this is actually, like, quite a long level. I wouldn't mind if this level was broken down into, like, two different levels, actually. Because, like, there's a few... Like, like surviving all the way to the end is a little challenging. Or, like, having checkpoints maybe would be nice. Or maybe just a couple of lives. But, like, one mistake and you have to redo this whole level. That's... A, that's... That's kind of, uh... You know... Uh, I'm blanking on the word. That's uh, that's rough, I guess, is the word that I'm thinking of. Oh, I could have just done this to get the, the key. Well, I made it so much harder on myself the first time through this section. Didn't even kind of realize. All right. Um, by the way, speaking of playing this game on Windows 3.1, if anyone did play this on Windows 3.1, did you ever play this on, like, your dad's work computer or something like that? I remember as a kid... Like, okay, as a kid, you guys all know, I was obsessed with, like, Nintendo and stuff. Um, but I also really love computer games. However, I rarely ever got to play computer games. You know, the most I ever played Solitaire was when the Radio Shack at the Scarborough Town Center Mall, where uh, I used to go when I was a kid. Oh, sweet. Okay, we just... I don't know how that worked, but we just got it. We're good. Um, the Radio Shack got computers, and they set up a bunch of computers in the back, and they had Solitaire. So the most I ever played Solitaire was, um, you know, the most I ever played on Windows 3.1 was, like, back in that scenario. Um, oh, we have to go over here, too. Like, we just didn't really have computers in my house for a long time. Um, and I think by the time we got them, like, I, I, I would play, like, shareware games and stuff, but I don't know if the computers even had windows 3.1 i guess they had dos i don't know what i'm saying anyway long story short i definitely do have a few memories though of like going to my mom's work and stuff like after school and like waiting for her to be done so we could go home and like you know them setting up some uh computer games for us to play and it would just be like solitaire or something on their work computers but i do have that memory and it kind of got me thinking like uh did did any of you guys have a similar experience um, what do I do here, by the way? Don't touch the bombs. Crap! Oh, no! That screwed me. All my work in that level gone. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do at that part. 
The only thing I could think is push one of these, like, dirt blocks into the way of the bombs. But I don't even know if that would have done anything. Uh-oh. Honestly, I might, if I get back to the bombs, I might pause and look up how to get past that part. Because, like, I don't want to have to do this level again. Um, just because I want to see more levels, you know. I'm not here to max out on level 9 in Chips Challenge. You know, I'm, I'm better than 9. I'm, like, at least a level 10. Years and years of gaming have prepared me to be a level 10 on Chips Challenge. Oh, look how fast I can do this now, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, I almost walked right into that fireball. <laughs> I almost killed myself right there. That would have been embarrassing. Okay, let's get, get these keys. Yeah, I'm like the Indiana Jones of computer hackers, I guess, in this game. Running around in computers. I'm pretty sure I'm in a computer. Because otherwise... What you're telling me is that Melinda has built this giant stadium-sized series of mazes by herself, which puts her in the category of supervillains. Like, she's no longer human. Like, no human could build this. Uh, certainly not for kicks. Okay, forgetting about those bugs for a sec. Um, okay, like, this clearly seems to be the answer to get this. And the question is, what do you do here? What do you do here? Like, I could do this and this. It seems to like want me to do this. Oh, and that kills one bomb. Interesting. Oh, I need all four dirt piles. But wait, how do I get them all? Because look, I can I can get one more. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Wait, no, I can't. Oh, wait, yes. Okay. We could do this and this and this. Wow, this is like actually pretty elaborate. I'm, I'm like really thinking here. Okay, and then you could push this one back. So I locked off this one, meaning we can't kill the bombs. Okay, well, I, you know what? The good thing is we didn't have to look anything up. The bad thing is I didn't think far enough ahead and I kind of screwed us. Which could be like that. That's going <laughs> to... They're going to write that on my tombstone. <laughs> He didn't think far enough ahead and he screwed us. Like, I feel like every time I screw up in video games, it's it's because of that. Impulsive short-sightedness. Uh, yeah, sounds about right for me. But yeah, this would have been an awesome game. Like, if you go to your mom's work after school and you're, like, waiting for her to finish, so it's like you can go home and she's like, here, just play on the computer. And it's, like, a business computer, so it's, like, Windows 3.1. It has, like, you know, Lotus 1, 2, 3 and... All these other like stupid office programs that who cares about when you're a kid and then like you're clicking around you find a games folder and inside the games folder is chips freaking challenge you'd be like whoa man sign me up e getting i'm getting faster at this part i think like i knew to double flip that switch when we got out so i wouldn't have to come back here to flip the switch to get to this door here like, I'm, I'm bragging about how good I'm getting at Chip's Challenge as I'm, like, doing the same level, like, for the fifth time. So, how's that for cocky? The new level of uh, narcissistic arrogance, I think. Anyway, boom! Slide your way to victory! I imagine you just sliding on his butt like, whoa! Going down a slide there at high speed, tearing up his pants and stuff. Okay. We gotta think real hard here. So, obviously, I have to do this. And once I do that, I can clear this out. Okay, now... Um, I think I do this, and this, and this, actually. Then I do this. Then I do... What do I do? Oh, then I can do this. Okay. That gets rid of that one. I'm freeing up space. This is, this is, a, this is a Sudoken or whatever. Um, that, uh, you know, this block pushing element of Chip's Challenge is that old, uh, game we played it on, I think, the MSX. Um, that game was in the Thousand and One book, interestingly enough. Um, and, and I think when we were playing it, we were talking about how it's interesting, like, that game, you know, they didn't really, like, there's not, like, sequels to that anymore, but its gameplay mechanics have become part of other games. Um, and this is a prime example. Like, Chip's Challenge is not Sudoken. There's going to be a bomb under there, isn't there? Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know what was the point of pushing that block, but we did it. We got some microchips out of it. 
Um, but yeah, pushing blocks around and stuff like that has now just become like part of other games. Okay, we got this. Wait for these bugs to all go by. We'll grab the other one. Okay, we got it. There we go. Um, it's interesting how games develop like that, you know? Like, the game of today is the mini game of tomorrow. Hey, we got all the chips. We actually passed the level. Holy crap. Okay, if I don't die here, I'm going to go very cautiously through this section here. And we got it. Oh my god, there's a fireball. Oh my god. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Oh, what did that do? Oh my god. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I'm trapped! No! <laughs> it was a trap! It was a trap! They put the block in there intentionally. I thought, I was like, huh, I wonder why there's a block in here. Do we have to push it or something? They freaking tricked me. Oh my god. Alright, well I won't make you guys watch the same level yet again. I can't believe that. That is the trolliest thing to do for a developer. To put that trap right at the end of the level. So one thing that would be nice in this game would be a way to reset rooms. So first of all, I, I wish there was a checkpoint system in this game. I mean, it's very old school to not have any. Um, again, I think game developers have gotten kinder as... Uh, as the years have gone on, like in the early days of gaming, it was sort of like a big FU mentality. It's like if you screwed up, you know, you live, you, you based in that mistake, sucka. You know, you think about every choice you made that led you here and you cry about it. You know, but nowadays I feel like game developers are much kinder to their uh, audience. They're not so mean anymore. So it's like having checkpoints is common. Having extra li lives is common. Extra chances um and yeah it would it would just be nice that if you like messed up a room you got like one or two more chances for that room or like if you pushed a box into a corner and it couldn't get out you could like reset the whole room uh like that would that would be a nice addition to this game i i wonder if in chips challenge too they've actually added that mechanic but i'm not too sure but uh by the way playing sudoken uh i think has prepared us for chips challenge here I don't know what the point of that block is, though. It still confuses me. Maybe it's a secret. Oh, maybe I could have pushed the block this way. No. Okay, I don't, I don't know what the point of it is. Um, but uh, I don't know what I was saying. Game developers are nicer these days. Oh, yeah, I, I, the sequel. I wonder if in the sequel they actually, you know, give you uh, more chances on rooms and give you ways to, like, reset a room if you, like, screwed up royally. Because that would be nice. Like... This is, this is a cool level. I like this level. Lots of neat mechanics. And it's like the puzzles that are just complicated enough for me to figure out. But it's like a great, a great level of difficulty. Um, however, uh, I just screwing up at the very end here. That sucked. Okay. So this time, we're going to be much smarter about life. Push that. Push that. And then... Wait, what? Oh, we're trapped again! Oh, no! No! Wait, how are we supposed to do that? Oh, my God, I just screwed up again. Problem is I'm getting, like, impatient now because I've done these first parts, like, so many times. Um, When we get to that room, I, I'm looking it up because, like, okay, so you get trapped. You get trapped in that spot. So, like, what are you supposed to do? There's... That, that block is the key. Like, maybe we can figure it out by thinking, but... I mean, I'll give it a shot, but I'm telling you guys right now, there's a good chance I'm just going to look it up, because uh, I can't risk dying again. It takes too long to go through this whole level. And, like, I've done it. I, I feel like I have achieved this level. Making me do it over and over again is just sadistic. The guy who made Chip's challenge is sadistic. You heard it from me. Seriously, though, it's a mechanic that... I guess was in the tutorial levels, but I don't remember it. <laughs> and so I don't know how to I don't know how to beat it. This part here I like though. The sort of pushing the blocks into the bombs. This is my level of puzzle. Oh god, my hand is kinda cramping up uh playing this game. I'm playing it on a keyboard with the arrow keys, obviously, like old school style, but like my hand 
I don't remember this ever happening when I was a kid. I guess I'm old now. But yeah, my hand is, uh... Not cramping, but, like, I, I feel it in my fingers, just using the arrow keys so repeatedly on this computer here. Oh, you know what? I didn't even get this microchip in here. I was so focused on getting around the boxes, I forgot about it. Oops. These bugs are scary because it's, like, hard to, like, see their movement because they move blockily, like, among a grid. So it's, like, kind of hard to see where they're moving. So I, I'm afraid of those bugs. Okay, I turn this on, and that does a thing. Hmm. Like, I'm trying to think, but I'm like, what could you possibly do with this block to make this work? Oh, shit. I only have 227 seconds to find uh, the answer. All right, let's, let's look this up real quick. Okay, so I guess you're supposed to, like, do this. And then this. And that's how you get out of it. Interesting. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you established a new record on this level. All right. Uh, I don't know if I ever would have figured that out. Um, but hold on here. I just noticed some things. We have options. Wait, there's background music? MIDI chip mapper refers to not installed on device. Oh. Oh, man. I'm missing out on... Oh, wait. There's sound effects? Oh, my God. We have sound effects. Hey, we can restart. Hey, we can go to the next level? Wait, wait. You can just skip levels? About Chips Challenge by Tony Kruger. All right, well, you know what? That's kind of cool, the fact that we can skip levels. Um, I, I'm not, like, in the business of just skipping forward, but I'm just kind of curious if we can just skip to our heart's content. Oh, this is, like, a real maze. Oh, my God, we have a time limit here. Wow. I like that there's, like, a variety of different levels. There's, like, some levels where you have a ton of time, and it's about solving the puzzles... There's other levels like this one where it's like you do not have tons of time and it's like you just got to figure out how to get to the end. Like, I don't even know where the end is. The bugs are going to come and kill me. <laughs> hey, we actually have sound effects now for when we die. That's sweet. Um, okay. My suspicion is this way. Nope, that's a dead end. Wow, how big is this map? Okay, down here is also a dead end. Bummer. Oh, ah, did you say bummer to me? That's cool. Hey, look, if you walk to a wall, he says stuff. Ah, uh, that's pretty funny. Bummer. Oh, what? So some guy just recorded himself saying bummer, and that is the sound effects that you get in Chip's Challenge here. Um, okay, where the hell? I wish I had, like, some indication. Of, like, where to go. Yeah, I want to get to the bottom right, I think. Bottom right seems like maybe it might be a good place to go. So, so up and around this way. Down this way. Oh, here we go. Looks promising. Getting over to the right. Oh, there's the exit! Oh, sweet. Sweet deal, yo. But I have no idea how to get over to that exit. Um, we some we have to get below in there. How do we get over there? Okay, so we need to go up and around. Bummer. Whoops. <laughs> Just walked into the fire. Okay, so hold on. Somewhere around here. Okay, so hold on. We need to be down, like directly down where I am right now. So, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, we avoided the bug. Oh, bummer! Oh my god, I panicked and ran into the fire. Okay, man, if we had fire boots, this level would be like a totally different story. Damn it! Everything is blocked off. Bummer. Oh my god, Chip! It'd be really handy if you could walk diagonally, bro. You take a diagonal step or two. That would be appreciated. Okay, we're heading in the right direction now. Oh my god, it was a trick. Oh no, wait. Oh, it was a total trick! <laughs> wait, how do we get there? We have to come down this path over here and then come up. So wait, we gotta... We gotta go to the far right? So confused here. Okay, let's try going to the far right and see what we can make happen. 
As far right as right will take us, and then down and around. Oh my god. <laughs> Trapped here. Bummer. Oh my god, I walked into the fire. Okay, we'll try this like a couple more times, but this is this is a this is a challenging one. I mean, I guess it is Chip's challenge, but this is a tricky level as it turns out. <laughs> Shit. I'm trapped. How do we get over there, man? Bummer. I I imagine this is like a, a kind of level you just play over and over and over and over and over again until you learn the path, and then once you know the path, you know the path. So, oh my god. Hey, we didn't die. Oof. Okay, well, whatever. You know what? Level next. Wait, that didn't work. Level next. Enter the password for level 11. Uh, crap. Okay, fine. I'll try and solve your fire maze. I, it didn't even occur to me that the game would ask for a password, although it totally should have, considering every time you pass a level, it gives you a password. It didn't occur to me. Um, oh, it gives me an offer. Yes, I will. Hey, that's cool. Um, so I guess if you die enough, it's like, yo, man, just take your freebie and get the hell out of here. Um, oh, I just slammed my face off the wall there. Okay. Obviously not the way to go. Um, I do like the fact that if you die enough, it just lets you go to the next level. That is nice of the developers. Oh my god, it's really turning into a maze, though. It is really becoming a maze in here. Here we go this way. And then this way, maybe? <laughs> maze B? Oh my god, every level is now a maze. I I'm less of a fan of this the maze direction the game seems to have been taking. Here, I like the, uh, I like the puzzles, but I feel like with mazes, it's just sort of like, it just takes you a long time to figure it out. Um, because with mazes, you just have to explore the directions that you can go and eventually find the exit. So mazes to me don't feel like puzzles necessarily, um, or at least not puzzles that are as interesting as actual puzzles. That makes sense. All right, we can get the, uh, gates now. Too bad there's no sound effects when you're actually <laughs> skating around. That'd be cool. Like, I don't know what sound skates actually make. I'm not a good skater, guys. I'm Canadian. People always assume I'm into hockey and I like to skate. Neither of those things are true. I'm actually terrible at skating. I, I can't even walk on ice and shoes, let alone taking away the soles of my shoes and putting on, like, precarious blades that I need to now balance my entire body on. Who can do that? It doesn't make any sense. No human was meant to do the thing that skates want you to do. So I just fall on the ground every time. It hurts. I curse a lot. I vow to never try again. I leave. That's that's basically me skating. <laughs> you guys can imagine that and you've now seen it. Um, okay, we have to go this way. These mazes at least are better than the fire maze. That fire maze level is intense. Oh, look at this. There is a ghost or rocket ship guarding this key. And I stole it. Stole for if you're gonna steal, steal from the the ghost. Apparently, stealing from ghosts is a thing you can do in Chip's Challenge. Where am I now? I'm like totally lost. Wait, I just doubled back. Wait, where am I? Oh, we gotta go this way. Wait, hold on. How do I get out of here? I'm trapped. On this way. There's got to be like a little exit I wasn't paying attention to over here. Okay, this just takes me back the way I came. Oh, I think I, yeah, I get it. I got to go through here and down. Okay, there we go. I like to move sound effects now, but I kind of wish I didn't have a sound effect every time I hit a wall because it is, it is a little distracting and like that sound doesn't add anything. Like, imagine if in Mario Brothers they made a sound every time Mario landed after a jump. It's like, uh, it's a little unnecessary. That's one one sound you could have left out, to be honest. Um, now we can swim. Yeah, look at him swimming. Swimming to freedom! Swims in his clothes, though. Doesn't get into a bathing suit. I don't know what that's about. Okay, there's one more E, and I think it's over to the left and up over here. So, that doesn't help anything. Okay, let's see if we can get over and up my goal um okay i guess we're going this way 
Aha, uh -huh. see, see that fireball? I, I saw that when I was swimming, and I was like, oh, that seems to be the next place to go. Go. Okay, so the mazes on this level are far better than the maze. Like, the last level, literally, there was no puzzle. It was just a maze. This one, the mazes are, like, little... They're, like, mini mazes. These are, like, acceptable mazes. Also, there's, there's so much creativity in this game with, like, the different kinds of blocks. It's, like, the one-way doors and the monsters and, like... There's so many like different ways to arrange things like these could be conveyor belts. They're also function as one way doors like the guys who invented this. Like they they really they really put a lot of thought into this. I appreciate it. I, I see why this game is was a very successful Windows uh, game. I don't know if it was successful on the Atari Lynx. I mean, I know the Atari Lynx was generally not a successful system, but as far as Atari Lynx games go, I have to imagine this game sold well for the Atari <laughs> Lynx. That'd be my guess. Um, but it's also kind of... Wait, did we just get the Windows shutdown sound? That's awesome. That's hilarious. Um, this is also the, the kind of game that did not need to be an Atari Lynx launch title. Like, it didn't even have to be on Windows 3.1. If you guys remember... Oh my god, look at all the chips! Oh my god, okay, let's just do a sweep. We're just gonna sweep across the land. This is like a bonus level in Donkey Kong Country or something. Wow. Um, but yeah, th like, if you remember back when we played Sudoken, which is like the game- Oh my god, there's creatures! Okay, this complicates matters. Um, but if you remember back when we played Sudoken, it was on the MSX computer, and for Sudoken, it was like, it was very similar to this. I mean, this is obviously more advanced, but it just sort of- Those guys- okay, they can't, can't get through the chip, so we're gonna- leave a wall of chips to like lock them out basically my strategy oops okay well oh god oh god oh god they shouldn't be smart enough the pathfinding in this game should be basic enough that they don't know how to get past that wall i wonder if we could like lure it we could make like a, a cage and lure them into it or something geez we need 500 chips oh my god um, but anyway, it's not like a game like this had to wait until Windows 3.1, right? Like, this game could have been on DOS, this could be on Commodore 64, I mean, and it was, it was ported to all those systems. So, like, it's kind of interesting that Chips Challenge came out, like, in the 90s and was successful, but it could have come out in, like, 1984, probably. You know, like, it, it, there's nothing about the game, technically, that's, you know, so, um, advanced that it couldn't have come out, like, a decade earlier, probably, so... I always find games like that interesting, where it's like the concept for the game existed for 10 years and like nobody really put it all together. And then somebody did and it became like this, you know, big successful thing. I mean, it always makes me wonder like what other concepts exist. Like there is a concept to today for a video game that will sell millions of units. It will make somebody a rich millionaire and nobody has thought of it yet or nobody, people thought of pieces of it, but they haven't put it all together. But nobody's actually made this game, and it could be made easily with today's technology, and it's not super technically advanced, right? Like, like the next Tetris, right? The next Tetris exists out there. It's just we haven't figured it out yet. Nobody has really thought of it, but the concept is there. Um, and I, I, I don't know. The, I just love that idea that it's like there's a game out there. Um, it reminds me of there's like a famous quote from Michelangelo, I think. Somebody asked him about uh, carving, you know, uh, statues out of marble. And they said, uh, they just asked him, like, how he, he, you know, knew what to carve. And he said once, I think, to that question that the statue was already there. All he did was cut away the extra bits. So, like, from what, what he was saying is, like, in every piece of marble, there is a beautiful statue. There's just a whole bunch of extra bits. And all I do, I don't make the statue. I just carve away the bits that don't need to be there. And it, it that's always struck me as, like, an analogous idea to this thought that it's, like, there exists a concept for a game out there that's great and terrific and everyone would play. And just nobody's put two and two together and actually made it yet. But it is there. It exists. The concept is there. We just don't have it yet um i have no idea how i'm gonna avoid these stupid monsters by the way i guess i can start getting into this area here okay oh god i have to like stay away from that opening so i don't accidentally lure them in here because then i'm screwed 
I'm going to do this and this. Oh, 65, 57. Do I not need to get all of these things? I might not need to get all of these things. 33, 29. Oh, I think I can, like, get away with not getting... 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're good. Go, go to the exit. Got it. Boom! Okay, that level's pretty cool. So you had to, like, leave walls up to prevent the enemies from getting it. I like that. That's neat. Uh, what was the name of this level? Ah, crap! I wasn't paying attention! <laughs> uh... What was the name of this level? Oh, look! You get to skate around. Oh, my God! Oh! This is like an auto level. This is a very interesting concept for a maze. It's sort of like you just go in different directions and see what happens. And, I mean, there's obviously a fast way to do this. But, oh, my God, this... Neat! So it's like we've seen a maze and now we've seen like, oh, we ended up back where we started. Okay, we obviously went the wrong way. We've seen a maze and now we've seen like an auto maze. Okay, so these are all the wrong direction. And this does nothing for us. Okay, so this is the way to go. And then what, we go like this maybe? Oh, we're so close to the exit. I'm so tempted to go uh, left. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go the counterintuitive way. I think maybe if I just keep going down, things are happening for me. Um, is this good for me? I can't tell. We are getting to new places of the level, though. Yeah, this is... Oh, it, it worked! Wait, what was the name of that level? Was it just Go South? Crap, I want to... Hold on. Yeah, Teleblock. B-T-D-Y. B-T-D-Y. South Pole, it was! That's so cool. Okay, next level. Um, oh, it just, it knows that I'm on the next level. That's neat. All right, well, we've been playing this for quite a long time, so let's have this be our last level, and let's... Oh, my God. Let's see what... Oh, my God. This is another maze. All right, well, I'll, I'll give this a try. I'm going to start wrapping up very soon, though. I don't know if we're going to pass this level or not, but... Uh... Only four chips. I want to get all these keys. Oh, wait, there's probably something under here, no? Like, why Why am I going in these rooms? I just need one red key. There's got to be a chip in, like, one of these. Anyone? Wait, did I just... Was that a total waste, what I just did? Oh, hello, look at all these chips. Oh, and there's the exit. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? There's the exit. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what do I do here? Bummer. Okay, hold on, kill myself. Um, so we have the key. We come in here. There's all these rooms, but they only have a red key in them. So what is the point? We need to find flippers. Okay. Like, did one of these walls collapse or something? Okay, and then we exit. So this seems like a pretty basic level. Okay, well, let's try pushing on all these walls. Nothing, nothing, anything, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. I'm going to systematically explore all of these rooms here. There's got, like, one of these has to, like, collapse, and there'll be, like, flippers or something behind it. Like, just confused about what we're actually supposed to be doing here. Ship's challenge, eh? Oops. This is like an IQ test, this game. It's like, how smart are you? Prove it to me by playing Ship's challenge. Oh, wait. Okay, no, I was going to say, that looked like a wall we might be able to push open. Nothing. But what happens if we push these blocks together? Anything? Oh, I get oh it. There's no flippers in this level. I understand. These boxes teleport. Oh, wait, I screwed myself. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Bummer. I got it. I got it. Okay, so you come in here. You go like this. Wait. Wait, hold on. 
Wait. No, that's a, that's a trap. Wait. I just screwed Bummer. myself up. Okay, hold on. Get this. Let's try going into... Which door do we want? Oh, I think I understand. So, you push this in like this, and you come out over here. Yeah, so you can't go in the same direction as the teleporter, or you'll screw yourself up. Ah! Wow. Man, when you figure something out in this game, you really do feel like a genius. You're like, nobody could possibly solve this puzzle but me! I'm the smartest kid in school. Oh, look at that, we just got a microchip. Alright, well, let's I'll work our way through this puzzle as I wrap up my thoughts on this game, but... Uh, Chips Challenge is one of the games that uh, you folks uh, recommended for the uh, fan stravaganza. Um, it got a good number of votes. It just you know wasn't number one in its category. I already played the game that was number one in its category, so I decided to play this game too because I personally feel like Chips Challenge should be in the book A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. And it also is a game that I have long wanted to play. So this was really just an excuse. This was this was Jay's Christmas present to himself. Was playing Chips Challenge here. Um, it's a neat game. It's uh, I mean it's it's simple, but I think it's well done, very well done, and uh, it's satisfying. There's different kinds of puzzles. You know, the different kinds of blocks are used in very creative and interesting ways. Um, you see, like new. You, you constantly have to sort of re rethink your assumptions about how things work in this game. That's what I've sort of found in order to solve its puzzles. I'm glad we're able to solve so many puzzles by ourselves. We only really looked up that one. And you know what? Honestly, if that puzzle had been at the beginning of a level, I wouldn't have looked up the solution. But because it was at the end of like a five minute long level, I was getting really tired of going through that whole level just to die again. So it's like I just had to look up the answer, you know. Um, because I, I just couldn't keep going through. Way too much time was spent on that level. You guys have no idea. But uh, but yeah, I think this is a great game. I think it should be in the Thousand Games of Play Before You Die book. I hope it brought you nostalgia either way. Um, and we are, you know, we are getting near the end of our fan extravaganza. We only have a couple more days. Uh, we're playing games until uh, Christmas Eve. So December 24th will be the last fan extravaganza video. There will be more videos. You know, the channel's not going anywhere or anything like that. Um, but just for the fan extravaganza part, that will be over for the uh, holidays. So um, be sure to tune back in again soon. Let me know if you have your own memories and nostalgia for Chips Challenge. I would love to hear your guys, uh, you know, fond memories of this game and, you know, what you did uh, back in the day to solve puzzles. And if you played it at your mom's workspace and all sorts of different stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, your experiences with Chip Challenge. I love hearing these these uh, stories that you guys have for your for this game. But uh, and also let me know whether you think it's a good game and you enjoyed it uh, back in the day, um, or if it's maybe it's a game you played out of desperation. You know, you were just so desperate to play any video game back in the day that you just you, you'd play whatever. And Chip Challenge happened to be the game that uh, you had availability uh, for. So I don't know. Um, but whatever the case is, guys, I hope you guys had fun. Um, crap, I lost all my items. Damn you, thief. Okay. Well, we, uh, it would take us a little while to figure out this level, and I think we just actually absolutely failed. So, uh, good as time as any to knock off. Um, I hope you guys are having a happy holiday so far. I will see you tomorrow with yet another fan extravaganza game. And, uh, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. Alrighty, guys. Peace.